What's up everybody and welcome to another episode. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share the video. Hit the join button and become a member. Why? Well members get exclusive content. Hit the bell icon on my channel so that you'll receive a notification every time that I drop a video and you can go and check the video out. I don't really like the, the energy that I had on my last video that I dropped this morning. The whites unalived, another white there. And Sentinella, I had just woken up. Y'all have to forgive me. I'm not perfect. But I believe that I ain't back. I'm back on track. All right, so let's get into it. Well, I text Milk earlier. I'm waiting on a response. Milk, I'll let your boy. Just because a couple of things are foggy to me about the situation that he had there in the county jail. I'm ready to tell that story. I want to run it by him real quick and get a couple of things uh, from him, a little information from him about exactly how it all went down. Because as I said, I had just left that module. But I do recall uh, most of everything that transpired. But I'm trying to holler at Milk before I do the video. As soon as I get it, as soon as, soon as I'm able to talk to Milk, I will do that video. <clears throat> now, let's get into it. This story, once again, takes place in the very vicious, very bloody Los Angeles County Jail where Shady A from Avalon was there. Shady A, he was a beast. He was putting in a lot of work. Now, when I went to the county jail from Sentinella State Prison to get some time reduced in 2019, Shady A was there running a module. When I went back to Sentinella, my comrade from Finnish Showline told me, no, Shady A, he said some things about Shady A. Now, I haven't heard this since. And Shady A was supposed to have been talking. Uh, I hate to even say that because I haven't been able to confirm it. But I, I, I don't know. Uh, on his case, that his crime ease was snitching on him. And so he said that he was going to say something back on them. That was the word. But he's the only person that I heard that from. Right after that, I paroled. And I haven't heard anything since I've been out about that situation. So I don't know. At this time, anyway, Shady A was a beast. He was putting in work in the Los Angeles County Jail. He had plenty of respect. And he was running some modules here and there when he was in certain modules. Or at least was in second in command or so. Shady A, dark-skinned dude, sometimes wears weird haircuts, weird mohawks, and, and, and the like, and, uh, and was very strong. I was also in Delano reception with him before he went back down to the Los Angeles County Jail. He had got out and then came back to jail. And so uh, this situation happened when he had came back to jail for a more serious case after he had gotten out. CeeLo from Altadena Block. I mentioned him just the other day in one of my videos. CeeLo was in a cell with, with Trey Mack from Altadena Block. Another situation about him that supposedly had came up, Trey Mack. But they're pretty close, CeeLo and Trey Mack. I'm not too fond of CeeLo. I got mad love for gangster then and now. And I had respect for Trey Mack. CeeLo, not so much. Well, I just thought that he was a, how do I put this? A coward. I, re, I recall somebody from PDL calling CeeLo out for a fade, a squabble. Let's get down, bro. And he turned it down. He did not want to fight the dude. CeeLo thinks that he runs the module sometimes. As I said, the Altadena Blocks, Gangster, and Trey Mack did have juice, and they were running the module at this juncture. C. Loke was just a hanger on. He was in the cell with Trey Mack. Nobody respected C. Loke. No one, no one did. Ballhead, because he had to be, his shit was peeled back. Sort of tall, with a little beer gut. He was nothing to write home about. He was around there doing all sorts of weakling things. He was too comfortable with the police, and he laughed and joked too much with every damn one. It's just, you know, he was not a gangster, bro. 
I suppose he thought he was, but he was not. And one time, they accidentally let Trey Mack out of the Los Angeles County Jail. Now, this has happened a few times. I, I believe I saw somewhere where it happened. It happens maybe five or six times a year, ten times a year. I forgot the statistic. They're in the Los Angeles County Jail where they'll call you for release. Trey Mack was facing a lot of time and ended up getting a lot of time. So they called him for release. He said, what the hell? Release? Now he's, of course, thinking once he gets down there because it's a long process to be released in the Los Angeles County Jail. Well, anywhere, prison system and all that, to be processed out. You have to take your fingerprints, ask you a million questions. In the Los Angeles County Jail, you got to go through this holding tank to another holding tank. It takes hours. So he's thinking, when I talked to him later, he told me that somewhere during this process, it's going to come out, it's going to pop up that he's the wrong guy. He's not supposed to be getting released. However, he made it all the way through. And they released him. He got out. Trey Mack. On a humbug, on a fluke, on a mistake, on a technicality. He was free for a while. But he didn't get far because uh, they found him somewhere in Las Vegas. He, That's where everybody run to, I guess. You know, L.A. or Las Vegas. So what, what's going on? He went to Las Vegas and he was out for a few weeks or a month or so. And he got locked back up. They caught back up with him rather quickly. Takes money, really, to be on a run, or, or, or at least ingenuity. And my celly was a non-affiliate dude named Sincere, still my partner to this day. We've hooked up a couple of times here on the street. And Sincere, he's a good dude. Doesn't game bang. He has a brother, twin brother. And they were both locked up for uh, many robberies. Sincere, as I said, he is home now. Shout out to my boy, Sincere. People sometimes picked on Sincere because he did not game bang. That's what I thought. They were sort of aggressive with him. And Sincere had just mentioned there on the tier that Trey Mack had got locked back up. Man, I heard Trey Mack got locked back up or whatever. CeeLo somehow heard it and called himself coming down there checking Sincere. Man, that's why Trey Mack locked back up now because people running their mouth. No, he locked back up. Because his ass went to Vegas instead of going somewhere else. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody running their damn mouth. He didn't. He, he was unprepared to get, to get released, and and he and they showed, and he got locked back up. But again, I've never seen CeeLo be aggressive with anyone this aggressive. But he wants to be aggressive. With my non-affiliate Sally. I don't know what he's thinking though. I'm not going to let him do anything to Sincere. So, uh, and then one time, CeeLo told the police out in the hallway, they came back and told me that we don't have any shot callers. This is when I pretty much took over the module. You think he going to be running the module? Boy, please! I took it over. He's bitter and angry. Sort of like a female. Uh, he, so he tells the police, man, we don't have no shot callers. We have voices. We have people that, that speak for the people. That's it. They're not shot callers. Even the police were confused by this, as was I. I confronted CeeLo. He denied it, tried to explain what he meant and all that. I said, man, see, I, that's why I don't like you, bro, because you you're not standing on it. You're not standing on business. Say what you said. Stand on it. What, what, do, what do you mean? Tell me. Don't go telling the police this shit. Tell me what it is that you have to say. So I can bust you in your face. But he wouldn't say it. Shady A, later on, came to the module from off the 2000 floor. And Shady A, well, he starts running around in the module. I'm gone by now. He starts running around in the module, coming out of his cell. And basically... Basically, he's working. He's basically about to take over the module. He's about to take the module from CeeLo and Trey Mac. Gangster is gone at this time as well. And CeeLo starts rumbling. He gets word, or he sees Shady A is coming out of his cell. The police are letting him out. 
And so it gets back to Shady A that C Loke is, is running around saying, or at least told someone or a couple of people, that ain't nobody gonna be able to come out of their cell but him, but the Altadena blocks. That nobody's about to come and run this module, that this is his module, him and Trey Max module. That this has been their module for a couple of years now, and that is not subject to change. Basically, Shady A is going to have to lock it up. Go back inside of his cell. Don't come over here acting like you're running a module because you're not, bro. We run, we run this module. Really? Again, Shady A is a strong dude, a beast of sorts. And they're putting in plenty of work, squabbling people down, whooping on people. He ain't a joke. Nothing to be played with. CeeLo, he is a joke. Shady A just says, he just stored it in his memory bank. When I talked to him later on in Delano, he said, I ain't tripped, bro. Because I had he hadn't come to me with it. But I just said to myself, should he ever approach me and tell me I can't be out, that I can't run the module, whatever, I'm going to have to get off on him. Since he's the one supposed to be running the module, in order for me to take it over properly, I'm going to have to take down a so-called shot caller. I'm, so I'm going to fire shit up if he ever come at me. Until then, I'm just going to be out running this shit. I said, okay. So he says, a few days later, after he had heard the rumbling from CeeLo about him not being able to come out and run the module, he's out running around on the tier, is Shady A, minding his own business, doing what we do when we run the module, passing illegal substances, passing weapons, chopping it up with the homies in front of their cell, for hours, some people out there drinking, smoking, what have you. We out there running around, running the module. CeeLo comes out of nowhere, and he's coming down the tier, approaching Shady A, alone. Shady A said he was just standing in front of his homie cell, chopping it up. And he said to himself, well, here comes this sucker, he better not say anything to me. And lo and behold, C. Loke approaches him and says, Shady A, let me holler at you for a second. So Shady A told him, go ahead, holler at me. Holler at me right here. Holler at me right now. You holler at me in front of the homies. What's up? He's like, no, you know, let me holler at you over here. He didn't want to front him off or confront him in front of anyone. You know, as, you know, maybe Shady A would be more pumped up if you say this in front of his homies that he can't be out here or whatever. He, be, he, he may be more apt to want to get in your ass since you didn't said this in front of his homie. See, Locus probably thinking this, so he said, let me pull you to the side. Let me holler at you real quick. But Shady A is not going for it. says, no, talk to me right now in front of everyone. People are coming to their doors on a tier. People already know that C. Locus then went around talking about he can't be out here. And everyone knows that this is not going to end well, and more than likely it's not going to end well for C. Locus. So c -Log says, okay, bro, I'll talk to you right here. But with all due respect, this is my module and Trey Mac module. And that's all he said. Before he can get anything else out of his mouth, Shady A, it must have been Tuesday. Because Shady A hit him with a two-piece. Bam, bam, two-piece Tuesday. c -Log predictably grabbed his mouth. Oh, cuz, oh, cuz. Grabbed his mouth and then broke off the deer, broke off the tear. Pre predictably yeah I wasn't there but I know for sure he ran he not he did run ran off the tier grabbed his mouth all cuz and ran off the tier Shady A gave chase tried to chase him down and finish his scary ass off see look okay, made it back to his damn cell Shady A went to the cell and told his celly Trey Mac what had just transpired that your boy is a bust. He just ran, bro. I two-pitched him, and he ran. After he came popping it about, I came trying to pop it about, he run the tier, he run the module, and I can't be out. That's what he was about to say, but I ain't let him finish it. Before I got on him, looking for a squabble, but he broke. Tell your boy to squabble. So Trey Mac like, what's up, bro? Trey Mac did tell CeeLo, what's up, bro? Did you run, or what's going on? My homie wouldn't even ask me nothing like that that I'm close with, he already knows that that, that 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 did not happen. But he's questioning his dog for good reason. He knows he's weak. What's up, bro? Did you run? Cause we'll, say what you want. Trade back, he's not a buster, though. 
And, 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 you know, he was putting in work as well in the county jail. Was Trey Mack from Al Jadina block. And CeeLo was like, uh, mumbling, whatever, mouse. No, nah, man, I, he surprised me, just hit me. Trey Mack like, man, you got to squabble him. You got to squabble him, bro. And Shady A like, yeah, I'm going to beat your ass, too. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to beat your ass. When I squabble you, I'm going I'm to knock you out. <laughs> well, this would probably scare most people. Because Shady A, you know, he's scary looking. And again, he has the stature. So, physically has the stature. See, Loke, I'm sure, is shitting bricks. Nervous as hell. But now the word is out that he done ran. Everybody on the tier done seen it. So he has to squabble Shady A to try to regain some of his weak reputation. There is no regaining it, though, after you done ran. What you going to do? If you squabble them ten, more, 10 times, you still ran the first time, bro. Period. Ain't no get back as far as I'm concerned. Whatever, man. You ran. You're, you're a bust. You ran. That's it. I don't want to hear it. But he said he was going to go ahead and squabble him because he really had no choice. He didn't want to. Well. Shady A ran up in the cell, got his door hit, and beat the living shit out of CeeLo. Yeah, he did. Hurt him. CeeLo wasn't even swinging back. He threw his, oh, cut, threw his hands, oh, cut. Shady A only, boom, 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 hitting him with Hail Marys and Haymakers. CeeLo flying up against every bunk inside the cell. Didn't get off one damn swing before he hit the damn ground. Shady, Shady A essentially had mercy on him, bro, and just let up off this dude. It's like, it's not even worth it. He's not even fighting me back. It's not worth it. Fuck him over. Bad. Inside the cell. CeeLo. Yeah, he did. Shady A did. And that was it. And after that, Shady A came out of the cell and was running the module. Not surprisingly, but he basically just took the module from CeeLo. Beat him up. And took the module from him. Said I'm running the module now. Because I just beat your ass twice. In front of everybody. Nobody's going to respect you. You had very little respect to begin with. Living off the coattails of Gangsta and Trey Mac. But now. What little respect you did have. Has been divested. You have nothing. Keep your weak ass in the cell. And he stayed his weak ass in the cell and didn't come back out again. And, tri and, and Shady A began to run the module. No, that's what happened, man. That's what happened with CeeLo. Uh, you know, nothing to nobody to write home about, bro. Thought he was running the module, tried to be tough. And uh, Shady A from Avalon got on his ass. Not surprising. I'll be back. Hell, I'm coming back today, as a matter of fact. Whew, got work to do. In the meantime, stay free, people!